Joining us now in studio is Umbulani Mudau, CEO of the South African National Space Agency. First of all, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. You've been in the role of CEO of SANSA for about a year and a half now, and you took over at a pivotal time for the organization. What can you tell us about the Space Infrastructure Hub and Matish Fontaine Deep Space Network no development? And I've taken over at the time when we were um, finalizing um, um, the implementation of, of the Space Infrastructure Hub, which really is it's, it's a component of um, the overall South African National Space Program. And um, it's really exciting, one, because of the commitment that we've received in terms of the financial resources from government, and thanks to the Department of Science, Technology and Innovation, which is our main shareholder, who really, really are supportive and committed um, to the implementation of the National Space Program in South Africa. And what were some key priorities for you taking over as the head of SANSA? Um, the first priority really was that um, we need to ensure the readiness level of the entity, the space agency itself, in responding to the space infrastructure hub. Meaning that um, we, when I joined, we started looking at the assessment of the capacity that we have within the, um, the space agency and say which areas um, do we have to strengthen um, within the organization, particularly when we're looking at systems engineering, because if you're going to be building these missions, you have to have the right set of skill um, that will ensure that um, project and program management is done properly and you deliver on brief, on time, on budget. Um, we also looked at um, the um, Earth Observation Program, which is critical. When you build these missions, you don't just build them to be in orbit. You have to then acquire the data and ensure that um, you build applications, products and services. You've expressed support of a Russian proposal to form the BRICS Space Council and you have projects in the pipeline with NASA. So how do you juggle these wide-ranging international collaborative efforts? Look, Alexander, there's no juggling. Um, um, our, 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 our national space program really uh, looks at what we call international strategic partnerships. And, and for us, um, it is very important to strengthen these partnerships. And um, as we do so, um, as South Africa, and our position is very clear, we work with everybody. Um, that will assist us in advancing our national interest um, or whilst they also are benefiting in the collaboration that we're having. And you would see that um, beyond the BRICS plus nations, um, we work with other countries um, such as China, we work with Brazil. Um, our main focus of course is Africa because we think Africa has a huge potential. Um, NASA, we have a number of initiatives and programs with NASA probably more collaborative projects than any other nation with NASA. And this comes from many years back when we even supported the Apollo missions in the 50s um, at one of our ground stations now, which is one of the largest ground stations in the Southern Hemisphere, which we are really proud of. What do you feel the next steps are in boosting Africa's space industry? Um, in South Africa, we do have pockets of excellence in our industry, Upstream, upstream and downstream. We've seen that in other countries such as um, Egypt, Kenya, Ghana, um, 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 Nigeria, um, Ethiopia, it's upcoming, Gabon. Um, and, and, and we believe that um, one, what we need to really focus on is on the re-engineering of our education system. You know, we have to have educational programs that will ensure that science, technology, engineering, mathematics, including innovation, does happen in Africa so that we can create this ecosystem um, in the African continent that will ensure that um, we begin to build and stimulate industry through programs such as incubation programs um, that will look at supporting entrepreneurship and business development so that we can create these opportunities. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.